welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new then hi, hello, my name is Rebecca and if you are returning then thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe, please like this video and leave me a nice little comment down below. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you how to do a half skull. I think this is a really flattering Halloween makeup look. Um, you can wear it with any outfit, you can wear it with a black dress, black jumpsuit, you know it's quick and easy and you don't need that many products so I'm going to show you how to do that today. So. I'm gonna crack on before I start rambling because I know my intros are so long. Also, I just filmed this look for a full face of first impressions videos that will be going up next Wednesday. Um, yeah, so impressed. So impressed. So impressed with the way this turned out. Loving life. Happy gal. Yeah, without further ado, let me crack on. So, to start off with, what I find always helps is to just keep a picture of a skull next year. I've got one that I did from Halloween last year on my iPad. I'll show you it. So I've just got one up for reference. It just helps so that you can kind of like trace out where you went before and you've got an eye, sort of like an idea of where you're going. And I also find that a nude eyeliner helps to trace everything out in the beginning. So I'm just going to start where my cheekbone meets my ear about here. And I'm just going to follow underneath, kind of like where my bone is there. And I'm just going to go over my nose and stay there and just repeat the same on the other side. So now that we've got that shape outlined, this is where the skull part's going to be. So you're going to have a nice glam eye and then you're going to have the skull part down here. So what I'm going to do is just remove all the makeup that I've got from the nude eyeliner downwards. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking the Snazaru white face paint and I'm just dabbing it all over that section. I'm literally just going to fill in where we took that makeup off and I've activated this with the vitamin C hydrating mist rather than water um, just because it's a little bit more skin friendly and it just makes the product a little bit more moisturising. So build up a good few layers of that. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to clean up these edges around the nose. I'm just going to take a My Kitco My Fluffy Concealer Brush, spray a little bit of that vitamin E in my Snazaru paint. Just going to swirl that in there until it's kind of like dry, it's on the dry section, it's kind of like a little bit tacky. And I'm just going to make sure those lines are smooth. Wonderful. Wonderful. So now we're going to start actually like sketching out the outlines of the skull. So use your picture for reference and I'm just going to start a little bit lower about here and I'm using a black coal eyeliner but you can use grey if you don't feel as confident and I'm just going to sketch a line coming out. And then, about halfway along this line, I'm just going to drop it and just create a little section like that. Then what I'm going to do is join this line and I'm just going to bring it out and over. Over the mouth area like that. It doesn't have to be too neat because we're going to neaten everything up anyway. And then I'm going to do the same underneath. And I repeat the same on the other side, so. Perfect. So now we're going to thicken everything up. So 
We're going to use the Snazaroo Black Face Paint, which mine has a few little gems in, don't know why, thank you. Again, it's mini spray. And I'm going to use a really fine brush. So I'm going to use a MAC 210 brush because this is the like, tiniest little brush ever. So I'm just going to fill this section in first. And then what I'm going to do is thicken this line up here. So I'm just going to connect that and thicken that line. And then this bit here, because this white bit is going to be a bone, this bit needs to kind of curve off. So it kind of needs to be like that. And then again, thicken this up. And then again, just blend this bit. So this bit needs to be curved in the same way we did this bit. Because that bit will be the bone. It's all about like your shading and everything like that. There we go. And it's so hard to draw like on that side of your face. Okay, perfect. So now we're just going to neaten up all these lines. And then what we're going to do is start to blend this bit. So we're just going to lay down a little bit of that black. And I'm going to grab a kind of like a fluffy brush. I'm going to use, no, I'm not going to use this little real techniques one and dip that just into the dry white paint and I'm just going to buff that out and we're going to repeat this step a few times just to make that bit look a little bit hollow And it will start to like come together. I know it probably doesn't look anything now, but when you have all your shading and everything in, that's when it really starts to come together. So now we're going to do the nose. So nose is dead easy. I'm just going to take the black Snazaroo paint again. I'm just going to create a little bit of like a half moon on the end of my nose. I'll come together. I'm just going to flick it up either side. And kind of like two points. And then what I'm going to do, just for a bit of effect, I'm just going to dip back into the white paint and just add a little touch of white on the tip of my nose. Just to make it look a little bit 3D. Now I'm going to start the teeth. So, teeth are actually dead easy. Start from the corner of your mouth and connect up to this part, like aim that way. And just kind of like blend it off. Same on this side. Okay, 
and then I'm just going to fill in the middle section of my mouth. So, teeth are actually dead easy. So, take your black paint and you want to create sort of like a, so like a bump that goes up together for each tooth and don't be afraid to do them quite big as well. So I'm going to start here and I'm just going to do a diagonal and another diagonal and I'm just going to Bring that around. And then neaten it up. And then just repeat the process and then we'll do all the shading later. So when you get to this point where you're going to need to start fading the teeth off, what you need to do is sort of like we're going to move them that way, if that makes sense. So, draw your semicircle at the bottom, as normal. And the first few you can kind of sort of get away with. And just do them rough to begin with. We can go in and make them like a bit darker later. And then instead of taking it up, I'm going to take it over like that. And keep fading it out like that. It's a good way to like fade out your teeth. Because it means that you don't have to have them like super blocky and pigmented like the ones at the front are. And then we're going to do the bottom teeth, so same process. Teeth a little bit more 3D, so I'm just taking a tiny little bit of paint on this nasal root, and between the teeth, I'm just going to create a little bit of a shadow. So I'm just going to do that by flicking up the brush, And I'm gonna, with your bottom teeth, bring them lower. So that's how to do teeth. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to start shading now. So I'm going to actually go along this whole white line and just draw a black line over the top, just to make it look like we've got a mask on. We're not doing any drips or anything like that today. We're just acting as if it's a mask. just to make it a little bit more 3D. So now we're gonna start shading. 
So now I'm going to use a great eyeshadow. The one I'm going to use is the Makeup Geek Concrete Eyeshadow. This is just in a palette of all like my miscellaneous eyeshadows. So I never use grey ever. <laughs> so I'm going to take a pencil brush and that grey eyeshadow. And I'm just going to shade along the bits where I want it to look more 3D. So I'm just going to put a little bit here. Just to add a bit of shade and then we're going to go in again with the um, black paint to really further make that 3D. And then I'm just going to go along the top here. And what I'm going to do is take the MAC 210 brush again and I'm just going to go over the top of those bits where we're going to shade and I'm going to grab my pencil brush again and just blend that in. So again, just dragging that along. And then I'm going to go along with the pencil brush again. So, and then I'm just going to take a really small brush, this is a Zoeva, oh you can't even see, I think it's like a 2 or 3, 6 or something like that, and that grey eyeshadow, and I'm just going to pop it, I'm just going to run that grey eyeshadow here. Then I'm going to take a MAC 221 brush, no, this is a MAC 211 brush. And again, a little bit more of that white paint. This is another eyeliner brush from MAC. And then I'm just going to take it in this little bit here just to bring that forward again. And then what you can do, if you're feeling really extra, you can add a few like cracks. Always feel a bit extra when we do skulls. So everyone, that's it for this video. Here's how to get this half skull makeup look. I bet I look crazy, don't I? Yeah, I do look crazy. But this is so good, you know, if you want to wear a dress or a jumpsuit and you don't really know what to do, you can get this Nazaru white face paint and you can get this Nazaru black face paint and you can just recreate it on your own. Um, you can also use any paints you have at home as long as they're skin friendly. And um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I can't believe I've only got two more Halloween looks to do until the end of October. Well, no, this is the third one, so I've only got one more one more Halloween look and then that's it on YouTube so well until next year but yeah I'm really enjoying doing these Halloween looks and thank you so much for your support as always that you always put on my Instagram and if you do recreate any of the, my looks please tag me because then I can see them and I can like them and I can comment and stuff like that so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video on Wednesday which will be a full face of first impressions for this section of my face <laughs> so this section and up so yeah I'll see you then. Bye-bye.